If you think about it, fermentation is the most original, the most basic, the most natural form of cooking we know. You don't need an oven. You don't need any special equipment. I'm going to make a beautiful kimchi today using a bowl and a box grater and a knife, and that's it. To me, kimchi is less of a recipe and, and more of a lifestyle, if you will. Vegetables all can ferment, and they take on a really wonderful, crunchy, sour, beautiful notes. So really, fermentation is just about taking the vegetables we have, letting them sort of commune with nature, with the microbes and the cultures in the air, the yeast and bacteria, and then they're going to create this whole other thing. It's an amazing thing, and it's something that we can all do. So the only thing really you need for fermentation is time. Um, you need room temperature, you need a warm environment, um, and you need some kind of sugar and salt. That's it, that's the only thing you need. And really, the natural environment of where you are will do its thing. What I like to do always is, is to see what's in season. Um, so like today, going to the market, I found some incredible kohlrabi. We're going to make a nice, kohlrabi kimchi. When you start to think about what vegetables you want to ferment, you want to start with something that's a little bit hearty. Uh, so typically you think of cabbage, right? It's got a real uh, uh, crispy crunch to it. It's got structure to it. It's going to hold up over a long period of time. So kohlrabi makes a great kimchi because it's a nice hearty vegetable. It's going to stand up and it's going to keep its structure after a couple of weeks. 